Welcome to this tutorial on creating a review or quiz widget in iBooks Author. I'm going to click on a page that I want to add a page underneath and then I'm going to go in the upper left corner and click the add page button and I'm going to scroll down to pages and I'm going to pick a page uh, about one column and now I've got a page four in my um, sample book. I could click on this placeholder text and delete it and add my own text if I want but in this case I don't really need to. I'm just going to click on widgets and I'm going to click review and into the middle of the page pops a review widget. So reviews in this case are mainly multiple choice questions. So I'm going to click and drag it to put it in the location I want and here's the inspector. It automatically pops up. So I'm going to double click in the title and I'm going to give this review a title. Great Lakes Checkpoint number one. So I'm going to open up a Word doc where I've got some questions already written out. I like to have this stuff already done ahead of time. So I'm going to copy that, go back to iBooks, and I'm going to paste it into the spot for question one. And I like to add a number one here for my readers. So down below are my possible answers. So I'm going to add some possible answers. I've got some distractors. In this case, I've got three distractors. And let's see, let's put Erie, and the correct answer will be D, Ontario. Make sure you check the circle to the left of the correct answer. Now, if you look in the inspector, if I wanted, I could add another distractor. I could say, put a fifth one in here. And if I wanted to put Lake Michigan, I could. But in this case, I'm just going to have four, so I'm going to switch it back to four possible answers. Now I want to add a new question, so I look in the inspector for the plus sign, click the pull down menu, and I'm going to choose um, drag label to target. So what it lets me do is place a JPEG with labels that need to be um, moved around by the students. So what I'm going to do is copy a question that's going to correspond to this part of my review. I'm going to paste it in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I need five possible labels. So I'm going to add those to this review question. Now I have a folder that's already been prepared with some media in it. And I like to do this when I'm creating um, any type of multimedia. So I'm going to look for a JPEG that I already found called Michigan Map. I'm going to click and drag that into the background of this review question. Notice how it kind of highlighted blue and then I dropped it in there. So now I have this Michigan map. The lakes are not labeled on the map. So I'm going to drag these hot spots to the different lakes. Now depending on how large your image is here and how many labels you have, you might have to do some um, moving around of the targets here. Well, I'm going to switch this here. Let's move label three for Lake Erie and move Lake Michigan up a little bit. Put Lake Ontario here. So I've got my targets in place. Five possible answers. I'm going to double click on the labels themselves. You got to make sure you get it in the right spot here. And I'm going to type the names. Now when the students open this up in their iBook, um, these labels won't be in the correct spot. They'll be down below the graphic of uh, Michigan. So they'll have to drag them from below the image up into the correct circle location. And then they'll click check answer to see if they got it right or not. So this is Lake Ontario. And I'm going to click a new, add a new question. Just want to show you how you can add a new question and get rid of it if you don't want. Um, so here would be a third question. I could, you know, fill this out if I want. Um, I can click between questions and edit anytime. And if I want to delete one, select it and then click the minus sign. So 
So you can go back and review your questions with the little arrows. This is what the students would do when the book is then uh, ported out to their iPads. They would click the buttons and they would click check answer. Um, and this is just for review. I mean, this isn't going to be for a true assessment. When you're ready to preview it, click the preview button. Make sure you have an iPad connected and make sure you have iBooks open and it should show up in a list and you click a preview button and it'll push it out to that iPad. Thank you for watching this tutorial.